All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Captain Smoke, man. I got a little bit of rest and came back to the situation. And um, I think the problem was something really simple that I was just overlooking. Um, something I forgot, honestly. Not forgot, but I just assumed I did it correctly and, and I didn't, apparently. Um, and I still don't know that I have. We got to test it, but that's why we're recording. But um, anyway, I forgot to show y'all. I think that I... Um, you know, because initially my problem was fuel shortage because of this little uh, medium tank or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I think it's a medium. Uh, but anyway, our tank was really small, um, so we couldn't fly for very long. Um, so I built, well, I turned our tail into a custom fuel tank, if I could ever get in there to show you all. I did that last time. So, uh, but what I forgot to do is add a fuel port. Um, Basically, I just had the uh, enclosed pipe at the bottom with nothing connected to it. So I'm pretty sure that that's the reason why I was still running or out of fuel. I, I didn't think I was running out of fuel because uh, my gauge said I had fuel because I did. It just wasn't getting to the engine because there was no port. So uh, we're going to go and do the old oil rig test because that's where we always run out of fuel. Um, you know, the plane just fell out of the sky and I was confused as to why i probably need to connect a fuel port to this too as i don't know because that's my little uh, refueling section but i just feel like why wouldn't a normal pipe work though that's what i didn't understand about the other thing but um especially i could see if it was a pump that i needed but these fuel ports or i mean fluid ports excuse me are like all powerful beings or some shit. I mean, I feel like that would make sense, but since I'm not actually... Nah, you know what? Let's just test it how it is first. <clears throat> Science. Because I don't have uh, advanced fueling on anymore, uh, or at this point right now, because I'm spawning shit in and out. That wouldn't be very productive. Still haven't put in the parking brake. Um, <laughs> just really no room. I mean, really, with the custom fuel tank, I could have just taken that out, but I kind of want to just troubleshoot and, you know, because you're going to need more than one tank. To, well, eh, I don't know. Maybe not a normal medium tank in a. Uh, In a custom tank like I have, but you never know. Basically, I was saying that to say I could just take the original tank out, but I wanted to get it to work how I had it and then, you know, make that decision. Alright, so basically with the little simple logic we made uh, to add our fuel tanks together, that's what I was thinking, you know, that's the fuel we had, but apparently I'm assuming we were running out of fuel actually because we didn't have that uh, fluid port. So, only one way to find out. the trial and error and the you know scientific method of this game just getting systems to work troubleshooting it's always something little it's always the tiny detail that keeps your creation from functioning how you want it to and just you know it's really cool man look I can just let her fly herself right now that's not an altitude hole she's just more stable for whatever reason Wow. 
Why is my throttle all the way open? Well, at least we know uh, we got a good RPS in this place. Wow. I just had to throw the whole time. Not that I don't think, yeah, from that point, honestly, from like point six on, I really don't think it matters because it's going to be at max RPS anyway, but. You know, it's the same, I guess. She's running strong without engine fires. I'm not going to work this. Generally, anytime I mention engine fire, they happen. Normally it was already sputtering. We're, we're flying strong at this point now, and, and she's still sucking fuel, so I think we've already exhausted that little medium tank right now. Look at that. Look at how majestically she's flying right now. Y'all should see the smile on my face right now. <laughs> and learn um, I still wouldn't say it's extremely long range I mean we still have you know, a good amount of fuel but considering where we started it, it's not exactly fuel efficient and I think we have the engine tuned as far as RPS and limit where I like I want to keep it I don't really want to tweak it that much so you know it's probably like a power to weight thing I'm not really sure how heavy block these blocks are by default, but I sure have a lot of them. Tower, this is Smoke One, uh, runway in sight. Request of permission for landing. Of course, I'm clear, no other aircraft in the area. Still running, baby. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this here. Now, one thing we don't have is a reverse option right now at the moment. Um, so, but you know what? It has to be done to call this a success because that's what we said. Fly to the tanker, back. Fly to the oil. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, please, hold on. 
relax. There you go. Look at you. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. And back in the hangar under our own power, no teleportation. None of that garbage. Gosh, it won't let me paint that blue side of the door. That really bothers me. But, um,. How much fuel do we have left also? Okay, 766. I'm not really sure what the units are, honestly, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you want to assume gallons, but probably liters at the end of the day. I don't know. Wow. I'm really happy with that, honestly. I mean, there's a lot more things there's a lot of things we still would like you know still would like to add like brakes or, or parking brake or something like that but i'm really happy with that now another challenge that wing clearance though look in the hangar turning around in the hangar wow this might have to hit the workshop you know just one time for the culture you know not that it's like a work of art or anything but you know hit y'all with the lights you know i mean it, 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 it's kind of a work of art for me bro y'all would have saw what i came in the Wait, what's going on here? See, as soon as you give yourself some credit. Oh, oh. Can we make it there and back? Um, I think it was like 766 meters. Kind of like a fuel economy test. I could definitely change the weather, but this is kind of cool. I'm not sure if you can have multiple waypoints in it. Uh, oh wow.
I mean, this would make a decent scout plane. It's not, you know, uh, wow, that's like, <laughs> it just never, you know, you never get used to that lightning. I mean, you could turn it down, but that, you know, everybody's going to remember their first lightning blast in Stormworks. Yeah, I mean, decent scout plane to visit other islands and stuff, and, you know. Explore the map a bit. In survival, obviously, I would uh, try to make something a little more fuel efficient, I guess. And a little more functional as far as what you could do with it. I only have one seat in here, and it's not very... I don't know how that would work with a rescue, unless it was landing at an airport and taking them, you know, somewhere else. But. Right here's the rig. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I kind of, I'm so tempted to try some acrobatics, but. I mean, that's not what this test is. We're testing, you know, autonomy here. Fuel efficiency. Because the reality of the situation is I could really take the medium fuel tank. I could really just take the... Uh, the medium fuel tank out and extend my uh, fuel enclosure, my custom tank. Okay, okay, I'll relax. My custom tank and, uh, you know, probably increase the overall capacity and use the space more efficiently. But like I, but, you know, the imperfections make it what it is. Our first plane. First functional plane that flies. You know what? We're going. We're going to go for some acrobatics at a risk of failing this test. Oh, I can tell it was a bad idea. Oh no! It was. A, it was oh, oh, oh! We're fine. We're fine. I don't know. I just felt like it felt kind of sketchy on that first turret, like that first little forty-five to ninety degrees. <laughs> Fuel 
All right, so we came back with 320. About 446 uh, liters, I think, because I think we were at 766, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, really pretty decent, I guess. I mean, I don't really have anything, any of my own builds to compare that to as far as fuel consumption. But, um, I mean, I'm happy that it flies and, you know, I've <laughs> just made two successful flights and landings on, uh, you know, one tank. So... Let's fuel it up and get our actual, um, let's get like the actual amount of fuel, actual fuel capacity. So yeah, see, that's what I wanted to test. I wanted to test if it would flow through there without the fluid port, without another fluid port. Uh, so obviously the answer is no. And that could be a bit problematic because we don't have advanced fueling on. So uh, if we take it back to, when we take it back to the workshop, it's just gonna refill it anyway. Which just means we have to fly some more and burn fuel, which I'm not mad at, so. Port seem to solve a lot of problems, <laughs> to be honest with you. So that that'll probably do it, honestly. All right, so let's actually. Could I like? Do I have any floor space? I could actually install buttons on the. Floor. Wait, no, because then I couldn't reach them again. Yeah, that's the problem with this narrow cockpit. Like, if I could actually, I could, maybe could, if I could do all this in buttons. Give me a parking brake. I really just, for now, that's really all I would need is a parking brake. I'm still not sure why the backlights aren't functioning for, for these two dials down here. But, well, these three dials, really. I know I, I know I have the brakes hooked up, uh, like I have it hooked up to the hard braking for turning when there's a soft braking uh, node, actually. So when I install the parking brake, I'll just rectify that.
train tracks. Why did I? Uh, why did I forget to look at the exact amount of fuel we started with? I believe it's like 1,200, 1,300 something. But I'm kind of looking for a halfway point out here. Twelve kilometers. Or Twelve kilometers out. Let's test the range. And because this is uh, creative and we have the islands and lots, you don't just have to go back to that one. So there's that island we just passed. We could land and refuel that most likely. And whatever islands we'll discover out here. That's kind of what I want to do is just kind of... Why won't the map just follow me? Train tracks in just the middle of the ocean. That's so cool. <laughs> oh man. You kids don't know nothing about that, huh? <laughs> but I just feel like that could go so horribly wrong. Like we're really just out here in a cut. Alright, he was looking at about the halfway point. tracks have to lead somewhere, right?
past the point of no return. Well, back to the starting point at least. And we could probably, I mean, we could definitely turn back and hit one of those other islands, but I just want to keep flying. I have a feeling we'll discover a refueling location out here. An airstrip. But I'm sure a lot of pilots would have had that kind of dream of flying over the ocean with fuel just evaporating. I wonder if we could emergency land this thing on the train tracks if we had to, like just center it and, and let her down lightly. <laughs> yeah, at about a hundred we'll probably start thinking about that. Um, oh wait, land ho, small island. I'd probably we can dip down low and see, but that again looks like nothing's gonna be on it. Oh well. Oh well, yeah, no.
Yep. Just out in this diving. Got a bit of a bigger island coming up. Again, doesn't really look like much. Oh, is that a cloud? Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, well, no, there is a smaller island. Unless that's also a cloud off in the distance. <laughs> Range test is about, but probably should have some sort of destination in mind, right? Might as well just keep going, but I figure the problem will be when it, the engine cuts and it drops out of the sky, like in, you know, we have no glide to speak of. But I feel like if we center up along these tracks, we can set it down on the belly. And, you know, worst case, but who knows? Maybe at like the last second, we'll find some island with fuel and the airstrip and hot food. Extremely low. I'm looking at this island up here on the uh, uh, that the tracks is running through. This little landmass here. Hopefully we can make it there. Probably not though. Honestly, the way we're drinking fuel right now. tip into the water I feel like I'd have to land it like dead center and then my exhaust system's not gonna help my cause at all if, if it was still a flat bottom maybe you know that would just be an easy fix oh here's the let's see this is just mountain <laughs> oh it cut there anyway it cut here anyway okay okay oh man no Oh! Hey, 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 we survived that. We survived that. We could probably get a recovery out here or something. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze to death and die though. So, that's cool. But all in all, I'm proud of my aircraft and 
I'll take all the lessons I learned building this one into the next one. Who knows, I may even install that parking brake and put it on the workshop. 